Hello friends, Lord Verminard back again in my garage, and in case you missed the last episode, we got ourselves a new project car, and it's pretty freaking sweet. Yes, we got the new, new lot of wagon, which uh, a lot of people don't seem to be too interested in, but I think it's awesome. I think it's way better than any of the dumb muscle cars, so... So yeah, let's um, let's keep building this thing out. Uh, the last episode, I replaced the trunk floor. I fixed all the rust. Uh, it has zero dents on it anywhere, like none. Um, the entire suspension was junk, so I got rid of the front and I just got I just ripped everything out and threw it all away. Um, so now we get to build up everything new from fresh, which is actually one of my favorite things to do. Um, not only in video game world, but real life too. Like I love just yanking all the old crap out and buying all new crap. Um, it's not something that I get to do very often, but you know. Okay, so I guess we'll start with the the rear since that's easier. Um, what do we need here? We need one of those, two of those, two of those. Uh, is a three eight diff the only choice we have? Well, we need a rear axle. We know that. So let's get that. I thought there were more. Okay, yeah, there's all kinds of different choices here. So uh, let's see. I certainly don't think we need the highest one. Um, and probably not the lowest one, the 3 2. So maybe the 3 8 is the best choice. Although I feel like everything in the game is geared to numerically high. Uh, because everything seems like it accelerates way faster than it needs to. All right, let's, let's go with the 3-2. Why not? Um, all right. And instead of adjustable springs, let's just go with the front and rear lowered springs. So we need... We're going to do... We're doing the rear right now, right? So let's just do two of those. Uh, we need five lug rear hubs. We need two of those. We need two rear shocks. We already got the rear axle. We got, uh, did I buy the handbrake already? Well, I have another one if I didn't. So yeah, this is a pretty good pile of crap to start with here. Um, let's see if I can... Simplify this a little bit here. Yoink that in there. Crap. Yoink that in there. Grab this. Stick it in there. Whoa! Easy. Why does it look like they fit weird? I'm sure it's fine. Where's my wrench? Uh, Wrenchy, wrenchy, wrenchy. All right. It's, I put it in the little... Tool trolley where it's supposed to be. How about that? All right. Um. Here we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yes. Yes. Doink. And now the center bit here. Uh, yeah, that should do it. All right, that'll make that a little bit easier to, um, to, uh, to, to do here. That's cool that it lets me just put it in there without anything holding it. Um, let's get the shocks on there, I guess. I really wish there were different shock choices in this game because I feel like none of the shocks are dampened correctly. That or they're all the same. Like, they might just all be the same. I don't know. All right. And we'll just tighten that bolt through the body of the car, as one does. Uh-oh. This one's not happy. Excuse me, but I need you to... Oh, the bolt's reversed. Got it. All right. There we go. All right, now that won't fall out of my head. Um, 
We need lower arm. Uh, there you go. And another lower arm. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing... I said, I hope everybody's doing great. I'm doing... Oh, that was the other lower arm. Right. I'm doing pretty good. I uh, went to a concert last night. <clears throat> Saw the Reverend Horton Heat, which is a band that I've been wanting to see for a very long time. Finally got around to it. Absolutely did not disappoint. Had a blast, even though the place was absolutely it was a really really small little club um and it was packed like packed to the freaking gills uh and it was hot too but um it was good oh my god it was a really really great show had an awesome time and those uh those boys are are pretty uh raucous i'll tell you what especially for being uh, how do I say this delicate? How did my light get clear the hell over here? Anyways, for for those guys being, uh, as you might say, advanced in age a bit, <laughs> um, they can still, uh, they can still, they can still tear it down, you know? Tear it down, tear it up. It was, it was awesome. So that one's always a butt for some reason. I don't know why. All right. Uh, we'll shove. Oh, this is just the handbrake lever, not the cables. Well, we need that too, I guess. Um, I can't bolt that down until I get it dropped. So we'll grab our spring compressor. I think we also need to get, um, damn it, son of a bitch. All right. <laughs> I hate when it does that. Like the freaking check mark is there. When I let go of the button, why doesn't it just, why doesn't it go where it's supposed to go? Why does it have to go shooting up into the body of the car? Like some kind of freaking weirdo. And now I can't like reach it. So, oh my God. This is a, it's a whole thing. Every time. There you are. There. Go where you belong. Alright. Raising that back up. Because I don't feel like... Whoa, I don't feel like... Uh... Yeah. So we need wheels. Uh... <sighs> this might be difficult. Because... Well, I think there are... Yeah, let me look over here. Um... I, I feel like there are, I can't remember if this is true or not, but I thought there were different, there are some different wheels at the other hot rod shop that are different than what is here, but I think one time I went over there and they were the same. So I, I don't remember. Good morning. Or is it the afternoon already? I don't bloody know anymore. Uh, what kind of wheels do we want on this turd? So 14 steelies is what it came with. See, these 16-inch steelies might look pretty cool, actually. Uh, so that's always a classic design that would probably look pretty good. Um, those are four lugs, so I can't use them. I don't think any of those would look good. Uh, we could use these, like, 16-inch truck wheels. These are just, ah, uh, the multi-spoke is not really my thing. I think it would look better dished like this for, in a, in a 15, that would probably be pretty cool. I mean, you can't go wrong with like five lugs, but those are only, or five, um, five spokes, but they're also four lug wheels, so I don't think that would work. We can put the, uh, Mercedes wheels on them, but I've used those for like the last two cars. That would definitely not look right. Uh. 
So why is this one 200 and this one is 300 and they're both 15? Is one of them wider than the other? They are. I kind of like these. I kind of like those. Uh... All right, we'll get we'll get two normals for the fronts and two wide ones for the rear. So, so now what what kind of tire do we put on these? So these are the 14s, and then there's a 14 high, 14 low, 15, 15 high, and, and then a 15 low. I think the 15 low is too small. Yeah, so this is like this is like the front right here. Oh, that's narrow. I wonder if it's like That looks too narrow, doesn't it? But those look like too those almost look too wide. Well, yeah, I think these are too narrow. Um Wait a tick. There's three of them over there. Oh, that's just a super wide. Okay. Yeah, I think the narrow is too narrow. I don't like those, but I think... You know what? I'm just gonna... I'm gonna do regular... I don't think white walls would look right with those types of wheels. We're just going to do these, I think. That and that and that. Did I get to ask? Did I accidentally get the high wall? No, I didn't. Heard that Steve got himself a car on black market. I bet that's where my bumper went. What are you talking about? I don't recall asking you a GD thing. All right. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, I think what I'll do is uh, just grab a customer car and come over here and pick these up because I'm too lazy to... Grab two more of those, I guess, and... Two more of those. And then our wheels will be done. Got to paint these too. I don't know what color. Yeah, whoever whoever suggested putting the tire mounting machine in the in the shop over here, brilliant. That was a uh, a most excellent suggestion. Because now I only have four parts to bring home instead of eight. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Keep an eye on those for you, will we? Will, will you, bud? All right. Um, <clears throat> I could get a trailer, I guess, but that sounds like a terrible, terrible idea. All right. All right. Yeah, this is my temporary holding the sport seat car right here. So that's what that's doing. Um... Shall I get a customer car real quick and get those wheels? Because I, th I, I think I'm going to need them. I'm going to need to set the car down. And you can't really do that without wheels. So, I mean, you can, but why would you? Paint? Yeah, sure. Give me. All right. What do we got? Oh, I can drive this. Look just like my last one. Now the question is, can it can it hold uh, four wheels? I have a feeling it probably can. Um, here, I'm just gonna I'm not gonna use the. Oh, I gotta 
Wait, hold on. That's better. All right, and we do wait. Do this. I feel like these diesels are a little bit too fast in it. Well, I mean, I feel like every engine in this game is too fast. All right, do that. Do that. Do this. Do that. Okay. Yeah, this trunk doesn't seem as big as they as it should be for a Mercedes. You know what I mean? Uh oh, that's not good. Also, these, these wheels are weird. They don't like to be picked up. I'm not sure uh, what's going on with that, but um, not really a big deal once they're mounted on the car, I guess. But a uh, little bit of a pain right now. It's not going to close. That's fine. Also, what the heck part needs painted on this thing? Uh. You know how it is painting these freaking wolves, man. They are a pain. Alright, I guess I gotta do something with these, too. Uh, probably throw them out. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw them out. Okay. You don't get that much for the... for taking them down to the, to the other guy, so... I'm not really worried about it. All right. Could you imagine? <laughs> you go to this poor guy's shop and then just buy a set of wheels and then throw them in the trash outside. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Um, it's totally ridiculous. Whoa. All right. Easy car. Whoops. Well, I can't fix it now. That's okay. I don't care. Not my car. All right. Um, man, that busted up the trunk. It hit so hard. Yeah, the, the entire car is completely totaled. Like, absolutely freaking mangled. And all I did was bump the corner of that building a little bit. Eh, what are you going to do? Yep, see, you can't pick it up. Right. Over and over and over again. Can't do it. 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 Yep. It's... Okay, what do, what am I supposed to do here? I can't I cannot pick up the freaking wheel. I can pick up this one. I cannot pick up this one. There we go. Good lord, what the hell is that? I mean, I know that happens a lot in this game anyway. Like you try to pick something up and it's like, nope. But All right, let's get rid of this piece of crap. All right. <laughs> Thanks for the use of your vehicle. Oh, man. These might be a little bit too aggressive. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, my God. Pick the mother fudging wheel up for the love of God, man. Just do the thing. Not <coughs> Excuse me. Here's the next question. do the flares work on the wagon because if they do that would look freaking sick uh let me let me i wasn't gonna get into this so soon but um um front left front rear or no, that's front right, front rear, uh, rear left, rear right. 
Probably should have just bought one of those, but um please tell me this works. Please tell me this works. It does not appear to work. Unless that's the wrong side. Wait, that's the left side. Oh it kinda works. It doesn't look like it fits the door correctly. But it kinda works. I'm gonna look past that because because that's gonna look I mean I almost need uh almost need wider wheels now. Well shit. <laughs> Should have gotten the bigger ones. Alright, um Do I get any color that would look good on the, these wheels? I'm thinking maybe just black. Yep, that looks good. I, I feel like blacked out wheels look good on almost any car. Yeah, I dig it. I'm, I'm okay with that. I wish that these were easier to paint for some reason. I don't know why. I feel like 90% of this game is just like saying, I wish this was easier. I wish that worked better. I wish that this didn't happen every time I tried to do this. But it's it's what we got, so that's what we do. Oh yeah, that looks pretty awesome. Even if even like I said, even if that doesn't quite fit right. Um I am on freaking board. Yes. Absolutely. Maybe those lowering springs are a little too low, but eh, we'll see. All right. Anyway, I'm getting I'm getting excited here. Um, I guess we need to do the next bit here. Let's do. Wait, 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 wait. Where's my? Uh, here it is. I'm gonna do this annoying ass crap real quick. Uh. Oh, sorry, I hit the microphone. I was trying to swing my arm around and do it a different way, but it's not working. Oh my god, why does that take so long? Why doesn't this guy have a freaking air hose? Like... <laughs> We might need uh we might need some spacers. I think. Oh, bugger. All right. There we go. All right. Let's do the front suspension really quick so that we can get this thing down on the ground and see what it looks like. Um I, we also have to figure out if we want to do if um if we want to uh what was I gonna say? Oh, if I wanna if I wanna make the flares a different color than the body as well. I don't know. I haven't decided that yet. Well, anyways, enough of that. We need front suspension. So let's see here. Excuse me. I just burped. I didn't mean to do that into the microphone. Uh, suspension. We need the front doohickey to attach the thing that the bobs to. You know what I'm saying? Um... Oh my god, where is it? I thought it was in suspension, but I oh it's right here. God. And alive. Alright, um front left, front right carrier. We will need a drive shaft eventually. I haven't figured out two front shocks. Uh lower control arms. Um we do need a steering column, yes. 
We do need a rack. Two tie rods. Whoops. Forgot those aren't the same. Um, two front springs. Two front hubs. Uh, and that should be it. I still got to do the brakes too, but I'm going to wait and do those. Um, yeah, what a mess of crap. All right. Here we go. First things first. We'll stick that in there. There's that and that and that and that. And we need, I guess the rack can go in now. Right now. And let's see, these bolts are kind of weird, aren't they? There it is. Got it. All right. We need front control arm. Front left lower. These Lottos are great, man. They're so easy to build. That's kind of why I like them as much as I do. Steering column we're going to do later. Uh, so that's the, is that the extra lower? No, that's the upper. All right. Got that. Uh, front left. That was the wrong one. Front right. Here we go. Oh, yeah, this is looking great. Now, the, the biggest... Oh, my God. Can you just walk straight, please? Uh, one of the biggest... Uh, decisions I'm going to have to make with this car is to keep it like the old style um because there's like an old there's like an older version and a newer version of of the Lada and so the newer one has the cool stuff like the GT grill and stuff like that so if obviously if I'm gonna make it the newer version it's gonna have all the GT parts But the older, the older, you know, the older parts kind of look cool too. So what do I do? You know, because I'm pretty sure this is the older style grill and headlight system. And I love how simplistic that is. And I kind of even like the older bumpers too, except they're chrome and you can't paint them. If you could paint those black, I, those would be all day, every day. But I might, um, I might just run it without bumpers. I don't know. We'll see. The front looks, the front looks really, really cool without bumpers. I haven't removed the rear one yet to see what that's going to look like. All right. There's those. Yeah. That tie rod's already connected somehow. I'm not sure how that happened, but you know what? Who am I to question? All right, this can get thrown in the trash. I know somebody's going to put go in the comments, you could have saved that for the next car. It's like, yeah, I could have, but you know what? It's not really worth it. Yeah. All right. There's that. Okay. Uh, springs. I put those springs in. Let's 
springs that I think are probably a little too low. We'll see, though. Go get it on the ground and be like, yep, that's exactly where it needs to be. I don't know, that looks way too low, though. Way too low. So we might be swapping those out with the adjustables, but we'll see. Um, what's next? Is that is that it for the front suspension? Dang. Yeah, these cars don't have sway bars or anything, so... You don't gotta worry about that. Uh... Oh man, that's gonna look so sick. Oh yeah, I'm digging it already. So let's um all right, one thing I need to do first. Drop this thing down here and grab my wrench, which I left somewhere. Oh crap, what'd I do with it? Oh my god, what did I do with it? I picked it... I put the spring compressor tool back, and I picked it up from over here. I don't freaking see it anywhere. The shop is the shop is impeccably clean right now, and I'm not seeing it. Oh, it's on a damn can. Okay. Pro tip when playing my garage: don't put your damn tools on the freaking stupid counter. You can't see them. At least not the wrench. Man. All right. <laughs> ah, what are you gonna do? Oh, that's cool. The shifter has a white boot. Because that's what color the interior was. I didn't know that those changed. Huh. I learned something today. Alright, I'm going to put this on the freaking ground. That way I can't lose it. And we need... A master cylinder. Four of those. Uh... Front and rear pads. Full set of calipers. One of those... One of those, two of those, two of those. All right, just give me everything in the calendar or in the calendar. God, my brain is not working today. Catalog. Catalog does not equal calendar. All right, here we go. There's that. Oh wait, I gotta do that from the inside. There we go. Done. Uh, can we lift her back up? Wait, let's put the... Let's put this in. Yep, that's, that's exactly what I wanted to happen. There we go. Wrench here. Run back around here and do this. There we go. Steering wheel. I have just the wheel for this. I think we need to use this one. Hopefully it doesn't look too big. Ah, my trolley. I mashed my trolley. All right. There we go. Can I put this back without it freaking out? I, I kind of wish that this like would fizz lock to the ground when you're not, when it's when you're not absolutely when you're not like grabbing hold of it and pulling it. But, but you also can't rotate it unless you just like bump into it. So it's a little bit. Would you just? Thank you. God. Okay. Uh, what do we need now? Oh yeah, brake line. There we are. 
And I lost the wrench again. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Boom. Okay. All right, let's put her back up. <laughs> it's probably fine. Um, parts. We need more parts. We need... Front five. Uh, it's a front caliper there. That's a rear caliper. Another front. Front pads. What will happen to the trash can that's supposed to be in here? Do I have to like bring it from the from the other house or something? That would be kind of dumb. Yep. 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 Okay. There we go. Wrong one. Of course it is. Yeah, that's what I wanted to have happen. This barrel is being super inconvenient right now. All right. Whoa. Easy. There we go. Uh, now we need the brake lines. The, the, the rubber ones. Grab one of these. Shove it up from there. Grab another one over here. Done. Need my screwdriver. Thought I was gonna forget those, didn't ya? No, I have a German car. Obviously, I don't forget the rotor screws. All right. Um. Let's see here. This can go in now, I guess. Ah, it's too high. There's that one. And that one. And I don't have to attach those up here, do I? No. Okay. Easy peasy. All right. Front brakes are done. Let's stick these here wheels on there now. Oh my god, that looks so good. Okay. <laughs> yes, I love it. All right, take... Oh no, what did I just loosen? Shit. All right, it was that, all right. Take that off. Hey, that's right where I was going to put it. Nice. Uh, What do I got to do back here? Oh, brakes, yeah. <laughs> Rear brakes are important. Do rotor first. There we are. Uh... Okay, now we gotta do this nonsense.
yeah, breakup grades are definitely something I am would most most gladly like to see in this game. I know there's mods to do stuff like that, but I uh I don't know, I don't really like playing with mods on a game like this so much. All right, break lines. Excellent. All right, rotor screw. And yeah, we'll put these back on. Well, that worked out quite well. Now, like I said, I might be, I might need spacers for these. Um, Definitely going to need some spacers for the rear, because that's a little bit too much tuck for me. The fronts actually look pretty flush. Um, so with the flares, the fronts are going to need actually spaced out quite a bit. Uh, well, I'm going to need spacers all around, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I mean, I kind of like the flush fender look, but the rear stick out a little bit too far. So it's just kind of, you know, whatever, man. Um, we'll figure it out. It's all good. All right, let's let's uh, let's throw away my trash. So I hate leaving trash laying around. All right. Um, so we can, I got to fill those tires up, the, the fronts, and then I can drop this thing down. And we can have another look-see. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Okay. <clears throat> well, it's hard to believe this was a junkyard car, huh? This thing is in really nice shape. Just had a little rust to deal with, which is no, no big thing. There we go. For God's sakes. All right. Uh, drop her down. See what she looks like. Damn, that is low. That is really low. Yeah, I think that's a little too low, man. <laughs> that's just a little bit too low. I don't know. Yeah, that control arm angle. Oh, God. Bump steer for days. All right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and fix it now because that's it's it's gonna bug the crap out of me having it that low. Especially when this takes like all of eight seconds to switch them out here. Here, I will put these on the shelf. Maybe another car could use some. Slam to the freaking ground springs, I guess. I, I I don't know if there's any difference in, like, oh my god, would you just chill the hell out? I don't know if there's any difference in, in like, the performance. I mean, I feel like talking about suspension performance in this game at the state that it's in right now is kind of... kind of a fool's errand. <laughs> Not to like, you know, not to diss the developer or anything at all, but the cars handle so incredibly poorly right now that I don't think it would make any difference. So, where are those other springs at? Uh, right here. 
right here. So we need two of those and two of those. All right, hang on just one sec, guys. I got to pause for a sec. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Uh, let's see here. Let's get these springs on and see what this looks like here. Oh, I need my need my tool. I think this is going to be, I think these will be better for what we're trying to accomplish here. What is this one? R for race. No, it's a rear. <laughs> and there we go. Nope. Here. Rear spring. I think this will be better. I'm not one of those people that, that want their cars slammed clear to the ground. I just... I don't know. I'm, maybe I'm too old for that. Plus, the the roads around here are so bad. Even even my Beetle, which is not slammed, it's low, but not it's not on coils or anything. Um, and it has very stiff suspension. Uh, the roads around here are so bad that it's just not not a lot of fun to drive around daily that way. So, yeah. Um. Okay, so we did that. What do we have to do now? Uh, does that mean we're done with suspension, I think? Yeah, I think we are. Now, I'm going to have to get it back up in the air for the exhaust. But I can't do that without an engine to attach it to, right? So... Now, if I remember correctly, even these adjustable springs were pretty low to start with. Yeah, they are. They're pretty low. The front doesn't look bad. I think the rear can come up maybe a little bit. Let's see, how do we do that? With the wrench? I think. Eh. Oh, look at that. It can slide right under there. Alright, so... So does that lift it? That makes the spring longer. That doesn't look like it did anything. Oh, that's lower. Uh, my wrench disappeared. What the hell was that? I didn't let go of it. Alright. Uh, okay, that's three, four, five. Oh, well, that's as far as it goes. All right, so let's we'll just raise it as far as it goes. And that's still pretty freaking low. That's kind of dumb. It doesn't go any lower than, or doesn't go any higher than that. Like it, it almost looks like the front is lower than the rear, which that's a terrible look. That never looks. Oh, that never looks good on anything. Maybe it, maybe I should, yeah, maybe I should do that now that the e-brake works. <laughs> All right, let's close these doors. Get this thing lined up a little bit better here. Yeah, look at that. The the freaking, the rear springs are like all the way through the, through the floor. I wonder if I should put just regular rear springs on it. Of course, they'll probably be like four feet off the ground at that point. Let's, let's do it. Why not? Let's have a little science. We will do some science and see what happens here. Okay, here we go with this nonsense again. I guess that spring is gone, so that's fine. Um, <laughs> hopefully those both ended up in the car. Uh, I don't really know. <laughs> If not, I'm buying another set of them, I guess. All right, so... Ah, sprig. Oh, excuse me. Two rear springs. Uh, I need my tool. Let's do this again. I guess we're, we're just going to put every, every spring there is on it and see which one we like. Okay. Uh... How 
was that? I think that looks good that way. That's higher than, well, is it really? So that looks higher than the adjustable spring was. Wonder why the rears are so low. That's a stock spring there. Like, that shouldn't be that low on a stock spring. Of course, that immediately rolled off the desk that I put it on. All right, there we go. I don't know. Maybe if I see another one somewhere, I'll look and see how low it sits in the back. But that seems, that seems pretty good when you consider the front's lowered a little bit. Okay, well, I guess that's what we're going to do for now. All right, so what else do we have to do? We have, there's a lot of body decisions we have to make here. Um, so I think these are like the newer front and rear bumpers. There's a, a GT grill, which is black, which I don't know if I... I haven't decided if I'm going to do that or not yet. Um... Uh, so there's black mirrors, which I'm probably going to use. Because you know how I am about chrome. That's a right rocker pan, left rocker. Okay, yeah. Those are just normal rockers, so there isn't, like, special ones. Uh, chromed grills, which that, the, gr the grill that's on there is chrome, which I don't love. I'm guessing this roof spoiler probably won't work for the wagon. Yeah, see, this is the front panel that I've got now, the older one. And here's the old bumpers. So it's already got the rear one on there. Yeah, I think I think I like these bumpers better than the ones with the little with the little bumperettes on there or whatever. Now I'm wondering if the front spoiler will work. I could put a roof rack on it. I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing that. Um all right, let's get that front spoiler, because I know we want to do that. Uh, I think I'm going to just stick with the old school front panel and grill for now. I'll get that front bumper to match the rear one. See, there's a different, there's a different front spoiler. I'm going to buy this roof spoiler, too, just to see if it works. It probably won't. Um, and we need these flares. I'm not putting a blower hood on it. Or a scooped hood or any of that nonsense. All right. Let's see here. Now these are easy enough to pop off if I have to if I decide to paint them a different color or something like that. So Oh, we are definitely going to need that front spoiler though for that to work. And we can decide too if it looks better with or without the front bumper. This is great, guys. I love this. This is the kind of car that I would really want to be working on in this game if it were real. All right, is that, I don't think this is going to work. Oh, it does work. Look at that. It's not exactly like the best look. But it's there. I don't know. I think we're going to keep that because I'm, I'm not going to put a roof rack on it, right? I kind of like that. All right, here's the front spoiler. And I don't think this bolts on, does it? No, it doesn't. I need the diff I need the other one. Crap. All right. Uh
All right, well, that was worth a shot. Here, I'll just throw this over here somewhere. Yay, be free. All right, um... Yeah, let's grab the let's grab that other one. So not this one. Uh this one. Now do we want to do with the rally hood? That's better. Okay, see, now I think with that in place, a bumper is needed. And just to just to make sure I'm not... These are chromed, right? But I'm almost positive you can't paint these, so... Let me just make sure it's not making a liar out of me. Nope. Damn. All right, well, worth a shot. Hate chrome. I hate chrome. I hate chrome. Hear that developer? I want I want bumpers you can paint. Alright. Let's see. Does that look right or I don't think that looks right. I'm thinking now maybe maybe without it. And if it doesn't have a front bumper, then it probably would look silly with a rear one too. Ah, uh, so many decisions to make here. I'm going to throw this in my pile of good parts instead of over here. Because maybe I'll build this one too. Why not? I, I mean, it's here, right? <laughs> Just build it into something completely different. Why not? All right. Uh, wrench, 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 wrench. Here we go. Uh, rip. Yeah, it's kind of got like a a weird indentation there. No, I don't like that at all. I think it looks better with the rear bumper on. All right, well, there it goes. See, a lot of times if you're if you're a person that actually does build cars or motorcycles or or anything like that, a lot of times this is the kind of crap you got to do. You spend a lot of time staring at stuff and and like sticking stuff on, taking stuff off, um, trying to figure out what you think looks right and what doesn't look right. And a lot of times you'll do it like a hundred times before you figure out what you actually want. Um, but this is looking pretty fire. Like I said, now do we want the rally hood or do we want just to keep the smooth one? Oh man, it's such a tough choice. Like, ugh. um... All right, let's grab one. I mean, I've got plenty of money, so it's not like this is a big deal. See, I don't know how this hood is going to look with the um, the old style front end, so I guess there's only one way to find out. Like, a lot of times you think something is going to look right, and then you stick it on there, and you're like, oh, crap, that's not that's not what I was going for at all. And it's like, if, you know, if you're actually building a car or a motorcycle or something, you can have this idea in your head about what you think you might want, and then when you actually do it, it doesn't look right. And that doesn't mean you have to keep it. Like, if you don't like how it looks, then change it. You know, that's the whole, that's the whole deal. Like, now, obviously, if you've got a bunch of money sunk into something that you can't do back or whatever, then you got to kind of make it work, right? Or see if you can sell it and get your money back and do something different, but for the most part, you know, if you don't like how something looks, then you just change it. I really like how that looks, though. Looks like a proper freaking rally car. But it's a wagon. I, I'm i kind of digging this rear spoiler. I wonder if the other rear spoiler works. I don't think it will. I think it's too... I think it's too weird, but... Um, we'll try it. Let's see, that's all of this stuff. Now, I think there was some stuff in the accessories as well. Uh, 
There's all these different kinds of headlights. Louvers, which obviously wouldn't work. Oh, there's trims and stuff too. I can't remember if those work on this car or not. I think these are just for the sedan and the coupe. Oh, here they are. These are for the wagon. See, if I could get if I could make these black, I would I would be all about it. Oh man, it's hard. It's really, really hard. I think I think I kind of like the look without the trim. If, like I said, if I could get black trim, I'd be all about it, but I don't think I can. All right, let's see if this works. I don't think it's going to. Uh, I'll pop this bad boy off of there. Yeah, it doesn't work. Bummer. All right, that's okay. I will continue to use this one, and I think I think I'm gonna paint these these body, um, like the flares and and stuff in the spoiler, maybe a different color. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so we need to build an engine now. Um, I'm not gonna get that done today, obviously. How long have I been doing this here? Uh. Probably about long enough. Um, let's go ahead and get this started. Why not? So I I decided that I think I want to do the I six. Um, that's weird. It's got pedals in the engine section. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, all right, so let's start with the basics here. We got the 3.5 I6, got exhaust intake, head gasket. High performance wires, cam, crank, piston, distributor, rockers yes i want all of that i want all the hp stuff so we need the block crank pulley um it doesn't appear to have a high performance cylinder head Although there's a, there's that one, and then there's this one. I think this is the HP one. Because this one's 126 bucks, this one's 322. So I'm getting that. Uh, that was the, what, the block in the head? All right, if I'm not careful, I'm going to end up buying crap I don't need. Uh, all right. There's the block. Let's get it mounted here. Excellent. All right, and so I've got the crank pulley in the head. And I'm pretty sure this is the high performance head. Even though it's the one that's not painted, which is a little bit weird. All right, so that's the crank pulley right there. So what else do we need? We need um, high performance rockers, of course. One, two, three, four, five, six of those. We need one of those. We need one of these. We need one of those. We need those. Um. Okay, we need a timing cover. We need a timing chain. We need a thermostat housing. We need an oil pan. Uh, we don't have high performance intake or exhaust manifolds, do we? That is a bummer. Uh, 
so much junk. All right. Um, I so said I got the oil pan, right? So I need an intake manifold, head gasket, exhaust manifold. I already got the crank pulley. Um, we need a water pump. We need a performance carburetor and a performance air filter. Performance air filter housing and performance air filter lid. <clears throat> I don't know which exhaust we need. What's the difference between these? Exhaust L LAD C, exhaust L LAD. I don't know. Exhaust pipe. I know I need one of those. I guess I'm just going to buy one of these and see if it fits or not. I don't know. This was the C version, remember that. We need the fan, we need the starter, we need the oil filter. We need... Is there a high-performance fuel pump? I'm not seeing one. Really? Well, flywheel, crank sprocket, pressure plate, clutch, cam sprocket, alternator, belt, I don't know why wiper motor would be in there. I thought there was a high performance coil as well. Now I know that the I've got a distributor. What if I um Let's see here. Just just for shites and giggles here. Um, okay, so there's right and left exhaust. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fiddle around with that. All right, there's an ignition coil that's normal. There's a fuel pump that's normal. Man, I could have sworn there was a high-performance fuel pump. I'm just curious if it even makes a difference. There it is. Yeah, that's definitely the four-cylinder version. I don't think that would work. Damn. Okay. Well, that ought to be enough stuff anyways to keep me busy. Oh, good lord, have mercy. All right, we need here. Let's do this the smart way, uh, and we will suck up everything that will fit in our bag. All right, there we go. Full backpack. Uh, air filter housing. Um, got an exhaust pipe there. Uh, flywheel. Air filter lid. Uh, wires. Cylinder head cover. Oh, that's a chrome one. Damn it. All right. Well, whatever. <laughs> All right. Uh... All right. Carburetor, air filter, got a water pump. Uh, somehow I got the whole exhaust in my bag. What? But I can't put a freaking piece of, I can't put a sandbag in there. Uh huh. Okay. I got you, game. <laughs> Very sneaky. All right. Alternator. Two more pistons. Whoops. Overlay. I don't want to do that. All right.
Yeah, I can put the whole freaking crankshaft in my bag, but I can't I can't put a bag of sand in there. Doesn't make any sense. All right, timing over head gasket, we don't want to lose that. Crank we can throw up here. Alternator belt, we'll throw it over here. Uh, clutch plate. Starter. Rockers. Okay. All right, look at us. Let's see, camshaft sprocket. Camshaft. More pistons. Uh, crankshaft sprocket. Thermo housing. Climbing chain. Uh, crankshaft pulley. Distributor nader. And another piston. Okay. Quite the haul of stuff here. Okay. Fancy crank go in first. And you've seen me do this before. Just gonna rinse and repeat here. This is a pretty basic engine build. This is probably pretty close to the way that I would do it in real life. I'd do the crank first, uh, and the pistons. They drop a piston on the floor, just pick it up and shove it back in there. It's fine. And obviously the pistons wouldn't go in this way. They would go in from the top down. There we are. Now, since we don't have to worry about oil pumps or any of that nonsense, I'm going to go ahead and put the oil pan on it now. I did pick that up, didn't I? Nope, it's right there. All right. Spin her around, and we need... So that's the camshaft sprocket. Where's the crank sprocket? I know I had one. There it is. You can go right there. And then... Uh, stick the camshaft in. See, almost every, almost every engine I've ever built... Well, obviously, I've built a couple of Chevy V8s. Um, but pretty much everything else I've messed with has had the camshaft in the head. All right. Can't pick these up when you're holding a wrench for some stupid ass reason. All right. There we go. Tim and in cover. <laughs> there we are. We've got to bolt that on. So I forgot to bolt the, um, uh, Camshaft pulley in. That's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Now, I6 engines usually don't need a harmonic harmonic balancer. Because they are what they call like perfectly balanced the way they are. Which is pretty cool. Unlike a unlike a V8, well, most V8s that, that have like an odd fire pattern. Um, yeah, I sixes are, are, that's why driving an ice, even like, even like a crappy old I six, like a, like a Jeep or something like they are just like whisper smooth. Now, if you have a cross plane cranked V eight, which has a different firing order, then those are quite a bit smoother. Um, but usually you don't see those on your average car. Most of the time those are reserved for fancy stuff and high performance models and things like that. Um, I haven't been keeping up with 
Chevy's junk, but I think that their their latest Corvette engine is a cross-plane crank, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure. I know that Audi did it um, a long time ago with their DTM car. The factory engine, the factory Audi V8 engine was not a cross-plane design. But their DTM car did have a cross-plane. So that was one of the things they kind of got in trouble for. They are like, well, it's not the same engine. Then we're like, well, yeah, it is. It just has a different crank. <laughs> to them, it's the same engine, right? I don't know. <laughs> but it sounded noticeably different, too. It was, it was completely different sounding. All right. Well, this is easy. These are really, really easy engines to build here. I really wish that this wasn't chrome, but whatever. Whatever. It'll be fine. No, I need to run over to the store and get the, the fancy spark plugs, too. That's all of those, right? It's all six of them. Yep, yep, yep. There's that and that. Whoa. There we go. All right, that's sorted. Uh, let's get the manifolds and whatnot on. Um, let's start with the exhaust, because that one's hard to reach once you have the intake on there. Okay, sure. Or we can just fling it up into the air. That's fine, too. Whatever you feel like doing, bud. I like there's only one bolt per a cylinder. <laughs> that is not how it would be in real life. Okay. Oh my god, this like makes my eyes go across here. Somehow there's only five bolts on the intake manifold, so that's a neat trick. Yeah, and this, this kind of design is awful. You've got hot exhaust gases coming out right next to basically sandwiching an intake runner so you're heating that incoming air up to a extremely high temperatures uh that doesn't do a lot for your horsepower <laughs> makes it a tad inefficient Also makes engines like that an absolute bear to work on sometimes. Now, if it depends on what the kind of car it is, like you've got this entire side that's like open, there's nothing there, which is kind of nice. But if you have to deal with anything on this side, eh, not so good. Not good. All right, I need this bit. Goes like that. Two screws there. We got the performance air filter. There we are. And the performance lid. There we go. Excellent. It's coming together real easy. Um, I think it's time to run to the store after I jam this stuff on here real quick. Yeah, also, also developer, uh, uh, Viking, um, I really want, besides paintable bumpers, I want paintable engine blocks and parts, paintable engine parts. Like, I don't want everything to be chrome. I want to be able to black everything out or whatever. Yep, that's what I want. There we go.
I love how when you when you put the alternator on, the bracket just appears for it and it's already bolted on. It's like, hey, that's convenient. There's only two bolts you have to wheel, deal with, too, I think. Yeah, nice. All right. And starternator. Wait, does that go... I think it goes on the transmission on the on these engines, doesn't it? All right. Um, okay, let's go to the stow. And I think I can just yeah, I can just shove everything in my bag here. <laughs> What's up, bud? I need one, two, three, four, five, six of those guys. Fifteen dollars a piece. Suck all those up, and we go. Boing. Hey, he actually jumped at that time. Usually, like, when I'm coming back, he never jumps at the first time. Also, I got a handy back door. I can just come in this way. Ah! All right. There we go. Grab this. Okay, I guess I can't pick these up, but I'm holding the, the stupid wrench that you need. Uh, this is very tedious. Oh, nuts. I lost it. Uh. Oh, it came out. Thank God. <laughs> I'm like, great. I'm going to tear the whole engine down just to get a stupid spark plug out because it didn't snap into place like it said it was going to. Makes me insane when that happens. What the hell? <laughs> it's like uninstalling the wires from the trolley there. I, I, um, sure. Okay. Yep. There we go. There is one i6 engine built in record time. Actually, probably not record time, but it was pretty fast. Like I said, they're pretty easy. Oh, I need a trans. Transmission. Obviously, I'm going to put a fire speed in it. Uh, I6. Gearbox 5. Gimme. I'll shove that in there like such. I'll grab this and shove that. Oh, God. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. All right. Let's try that again. Wait, does that have to be, like, bolted in or something? That's fine. We'll, we can do that. All right. Now, let's... Chuck you in there. Boink. There we go. I love trying to picture this guy. Just He just grabs a hold of the engine and just yanks it up in there. <laughs> I love how the, the, uh, the oil pan goes through the cross member here. See, normally, you see engines like this, they'll have a big hump in the front or in the back to cross the to clear the uh, cross member. I um, guess they didn't think of that. All right, so this goes on there. Okay. All right, we don't have to worry about the other bits right now. Right meow. All right, where's the... 
Why am I not seeing any bell housing bolts? Oh, there's a couple. Does this not have any on the bottom? Seems a little weird. Hey, you know what? I don't care. Less crap for me to do. All right, we need a drive shaft too. Uh, there it is. Gimme. And fuel line. And a gas tank. Wait, are they all the same? We've got two different gas tanks. Which one is the right one? I think it's this one. For $69. Nice. All right, back up again. Whoop. Uh, wrenchy wrench. Wrenchy wrench, where'd you go? Right here. Bam, bam, bam. All right, and there's no... Oh, there is bolts up here. Okay. Some of them have bolts there. Some of them are just slip fit, which is... Tricky if you're not paying attention. All right. Uh... All right, exhaust. So this is the... It looks like the exhaust was already in the right place. Yeah, it is. Oh, I can just do a side exit exhaust. I wonder if that increases performance at all. Alright, you know what? We're doing that. Screw it. Although it looks kind of silly with having a having an exhaust cut out back here and it doesn't go anywhere. All right, let's take this off. And stick this one instead. See what that looks like. That does not look right at all. Isn't there a proper exhaust for the wagon? All right, this was the... Which one was this? This was... Lad C. Uh... All right, we're in engine exhaust. So that was that one. See, the pictures look exactly the same. All right, well, let's get that one, I guess, and see what it looks like. That's different, but it looks like it's going to exit in the exact same place. What the heck? V8 and I6. Yeah, that's definitely not right. That, that's not even... Not even anything. <laughs> it's just not... It's not even. It's not even. Uh, let's get one for a four-cylinder, I guess. Okay, we got that manifold. Exhaust sedan. Uh, what? That's the only one it's got? The damn hell where's the exhaust cut out on this one it's on the right side and that's where this one is too all right so let me grab an, a sedan one then i guess i i don't understand how That one looks really restrictive. It's got like 15,000 mufflers on it.
That one won't even go in there at all. All right, so... So none of the exhausts work. Cool. I think what the problem is here is on the four-cylinder... On the four-cylinder, the manifold comes out this way, on this side. Not on this side. So how would you do a V8? Okay, so there's an exhaust right side, but that would be like if it came out the right manifold. And went straight back. So then you could do side pipes. Yeah, see, there's that's that's for the coupe right there, and that's for the sedan. There's different lengths, and there's one for the right and the left side. Yeah, it looks like it looks like I can't do it. Uh, I'm gonna have to do side pipes, I guess. All right, well, whatever. Wait, I kept that one, didn't I? Uh, bought an extra one. Well, we've blown through a whole lot of money today. <laughs> That's all right. We've still got enough to still got enough to finish this thing. Yeah, that's not the best, but it, it's not the worst either. Okay. Uh, all right, are we done under here? I think we are. Let's drop this sucker down. And move these things out of the way. All right, um, let's put some oil in this thing. This is always the most exciting part. Uh, there we go. Just, just fling oil all over the engine. See if any of it actually makes it in there. It's fine. All right. Do I have any other oil over here? Ah, blast. I don't. All right. Gotta get more oil. I at least want to fire this thing up. Um, Get one of those. Get three of those. And suck all that up in there. This needs a battery too, doesn't it? Right, give me one of those. Oh crap, I also need one of those. Uh yeah, that's good. There. See, I could I can put a battery in my backpack, but I can't put a package of sand in a backpack. I guarantee you the battery weighs more than the block of sand. Uh, I'm not gonna let that go. That's bugging the crap out of me. That you make me like bring a customer car to this to that shop over there, and then you have to buy like six thousand bags of sand to make it worth your while. Yeah. All right. I wonder if the roll cage for the for the other um, lads work in this car. All right, where are we at? Uh, yoink! Need more. Oh no.
right. It still needs more? Are you kidding me? All right. It's like six liters of oil. What the hell? <laughs> All right. I don't know if you can overfill those or not, but that seems like it's too much. Oops. Yep. Yeah, it's overfilled now. I don't know what to do about that. Um, do I just, um, do I just crack the, uh, the oil pan bolt for a second? This doesn't have one. All right. You know what? I'm not worried about it then. <laughs> All right, let's put some of this hambro in there. Oh wait, I don't have the um, I don't have the lower hose, and I don't think the upper one is attached. Uh, lower hose, give me. Oh, I don't. I need a. Yeah, I need all that stuff in installed too. Jeez. Uh, all right, this is probably not going to get done today. There we go. Uh, where's my wrench now? Oh my god. Oh, there it was on the table. Invisible, as always. All right. Okay, that one is attached, and I don't think you have to attach it here. This lower one is almost impossible to get to on the Lada. I had to kind of cheat to do it last time. Uh, there it is. Let's see. That's the only place that it attaches, isn't it? Yep. All right. Okay. That's done. All right. Now we can put coolant in it. Ah, yes, this is the most exciting part of an engine build, isn't it? Taking nine hours to fill fluids. That's great. Yeah, I've been I've been doing this too long, so I'm gonna have to probably cut this short here. I know it's like super anticipation let down when I can't fire the thing up right at the very end, but yeah. I mean we got more work to do on this thing anyway. It's not like it's ready to drive yet, so it's not a big deal. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end this one here. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I had a great time, and I hope you guys did too. Um, it says it's stuck on filling, so that's cool. <laughs> oh my god, go. Why does it do that? My lord. Okay, yeah, I think my nerves need a break from this game anyways. <laughs> so, yeah, um, you know, if you leave a like, or leave a like if you, uh, like what you saw. Um... You know, think about subscribing. Um, maybe even think about becoming a channel member. We just gained another one here recently, which is freaking awesome. So thank you for that. Uh, and yeah, I will see you guys on the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye.